Hello and welcome back to our YouTube page. We're actually doing this halfway through another video whilst the wait for the polish to dry. But these shoes really are uh, ready to go for rebuild. You can see that's gone through at the sole, the very down at the heel. Um, but I was just going to show you how to polish before I send them back. Now, the shoes that we sell are most of the good English shoes are what's called Goodyear welted. Now what a welt is, is this piece of leather which attaches the upper to the sole. Now when the shoe needs rebuilding, if you take this to a cobbler, he will generally reuse this, this welt and the good ones will unpick all the stitching with a pick so that when he stitches it back, you've got a clean row of, uh, of stitching round. The ones that are maybe not charging as much or um, uh, don't care as much maybe, maybe you're more of an a budget, they will stitch over that and that's when you see lumpy knotted stitching. But a good cobbler will pick all that out. That's the welt which he will reuse. I have a cobbler friend in uh, Doncaster, superb cobbler, um, called the shoe healer, Paul, and he will make you a new welt if need be. That's another story. Um, buying shoes from us and from other good retailers, you have the option for the shoe to be returned to the factory when uh, it needs rebuilding or, or refurbishing. And what they do is they put it back onto the last the shoe was built, take off all of the bottom, and they put a brand new uh, welt on and refinish the, um, the bottoms uh, it's like a new shoe, refinish all the upper, new lace, new seat sock. And I'll show you um, the before and afters on these when they come back for repair. So that's a little bit about Goodyear welted shoes. That's what a welt is. This bit, it's the strip of leather that attaches the sole to the upper or the other way around. And in here you can see what's called the shank and the cork bed. And that's a sort of a dissected English shoe. Another note to, uh, to bear in mind is, that keeping it simple, there are two basic kind of leathers. There are many. So I'm sure I'll get lots of comments saying, oh, there's Cordovan and there's Aniline and there's Top Grain. But there's two basic kinds, calf and corrected side. All our shoes are calf and they are, uh, it's a natural skin that you can polish. There's about 240 processors making a pair of shoes and about every 10th process will give it a coat of the colour that they intend the shoe to be. And then if it's um, made in a factory on left and right, so they'll be married up at the end and paired up and, and hand polished. If it's a hand grate shoe um, with oak bark soles, they will be made as a pair from perfectly matched grain and it's a beautiful thing. But this is a sort of a natural colour here and you can see this was supposed to be a burnished tan it's very old and battered this but it will take polish so if you buy a shoe this colour and it's calf and you want to darken it and you strip off the the surface you know with either some lighter fuel or Safia do a product you can colour it darker my tan shoes I'm bored of <laughs> I just don't wear them so a few of them are stripped back and I've coloured them a much darker ox bloody brown so I look forward to showing you those when they're done and the difference. So winding the clock on 10 days, these have now come back from the shoe healer in Doncaster. Normally we would send uh, very new shoes back to uh, the factory, whether it be Loke or Crockett and Jones, and they're rebuilt on the last. But if the customer's in a rush um, or it's an older shoe, we send them to the shoe healer. They make a great job. Um, they unpick all the stitching and if necessary they'll make a new welt but they'll unpick the stitching so you don't get that bumpy knotted look and that's that's a beautiful job through soles quarter heel notched um, refinish the upper that's an old old shoe that's uh, was my son's or is my son's and uh, you know when you start off with just one or two pairs and they wear them and they wear them and they don't particularly look after them he's learning now but that's been refurbished and that's good to go for another couple of years.